Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2, War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and this is the legendary Iron Man Army of Two run. We are in month number 8. Yep, you have heard me indeed correct. Uh, month number 8 quite far um, in the missions and this year will be our ticket for a couple of weapon upgrades that are definitely necessary. Uh, speaking about which, let me just really quick double check if we might be able to upgrade at least the pistols because the Templar pistol could be upgraded or alternatively the normal handhold pistols or the beam web uh, the the actual um, alien weapon. Hmm, that's a difficult decision. I mean, since we're doing the next mission with a sniper and our um, and our uh, specter, it might be a good idea to actually use this weapon here. So let's upgrade the Shadow Keeper because we're wielding it. Sorry for starting with a bit of a bit of a planning session, but here we are. Finally, it's month number eight, and we want to uh, win the supply rate. It's a very difficult supply rate, so might as well be careful. And I'm super happy uh, to finally uh, field Major Dragonova again together with Edgar Alien Poe and Edgar. I have invested into him. Edgar, I uh, flew to the um, to the uh, black market, bought a superior perception. Unfortunately, only plus 14 aim instead of plus 21, uh, or plus 23 even, which is the maximum. So that's pretty good. And he is now also wielding the shadow uh, keeper, which we just upgraded. So we're looking at four to seven points of damage, uh, plus of course uh, blue screen rounds. So that's going to be a lot of oomph. Uh, we gave him the spider suit and his normal sniper. So yeah, I think with 110 um, uh, aim, we might be well on our way. Dragonova as well, of course, a beast now has two claymores. So the team is well suited. And if I play my cards right, uh, we should be we should uh, run through this mission without much hassle. It is nonetheless a non-timed mission, so I can actually take a lot of turns. I will try to spare you uh, from, from doing it too tactical, but the optimal way is I want to um, actually play it effectively and uh, maybe flawless the mission itself. So bear with me here, guys. Oh, we're in a tagging race again. Uh, that's okay, I suppose. I really like it when we're not forced to have a timer. As long as we're concealed, we should be fine. This here definitely would be a good starting point. And this here is a good sniper position. Back here is also okay. If it wouldn't be for the trees, I would even argue up here is probably one of the best positions, but there are unfortunately trees in the way. So might as well double check if this here is a good position to, to be in. High ground is good, but too many uh, mountains in the way, it's unfortunately not as optimal.
Well, good to see that we do have so many options here. Roger that. Roger, I've got my eyes on. I see everything. Okay, so that pack should be quite simple. Actually, Dragonova can probably kill them by herself. I'm going to use Sting just to trigger the uh, the Spectre. Eyes on the prize. Yeah, and once the Spectre is down, we should have no problem whatsoever. Well, that changes the situation a bit. We've got an enemy squad here. I'm on the move. Because now this claymore here. becomes pretty efficient. Problem is, uh, if we're claymore, uh, if we're shooting the claymore now, we're going to become visible. I don't want to use the shadow fall yet, so we're just going to leave it. If they stay there, fine. If not, the claymore for two is still okay. You can play it that way. Um, Yeah, we're not going to interfere. Um. No, not worth it. We can get visible soon. Move in here and we're going to kill both of them. Eleven points of damage uh, with blue screen rounds pistols. That's what you want to see. Alright. Good. Can't kill anyone with a remote start. Let's trail them. We're going to use the sniper to soften these guys up. Let's go! Nice little shot. Good job, Edgar Alien. I 
I'm going to kill the stun lancer. The captain by himself should theoretically retreat. Yeah, so we're down two. Ten more to go. Are you shitting me? See, that's one of the things that I don't like. Random behavior. He's supposed to go back and heal his wounds. I go where you tell me. Okay, this should kill him. Nice little blood trail. Very nice. They line up for a remote start. Can also remote start the middle. Re -up and reload. Stand clear. That destroys a crate. Try to avoid damaging the crates if we want to bring home anything useful. Target neutralized. We got his promotion, but I have the feeling that with less than half hit points, we're again looking. Uh, we're again looking f uh, at dire. Um, regeneration times. Probably he's going to spend a lot of his time in the sick bay. All right, let's get some loot. I have your item. It's advanced stock is okay, but I would really like to get some more PCSs. So far I needed to buy them and that's never really good. Okay, so we got one crate. Keep marking those crates, Metis One Five. Throw the hook. Moving back into a safe distance. Second claymore pull. The mutant starts to burn. I like it. Heavy lancer will die automatically. And 
And let's death from above, overwatch. Should have probably kept our sniper just further back. Still a bit miffed about him getting injured. I'm on it. Covering now. My life is in your hands. What? <laughs> okay. Well, let's maybe position here, shall we? Let's do this. Got it That's a pretty special pack. Good. Let's start with one, but before we do so, reload and uh, then start with uh, one. So, this here is going to be a 100% kill. We're still losing more crates, but I think I, there is really not much we can do about that. Says I am to obey. Yeah, I don't want to. Even though there's a good chance that we kill it, 50% chance, I still don't want to do that. I think we're in a awesome position here. Just need to reload and kill uh, kill the Cody uh, Cody six one by one. We got ourselves one crate, which is probably not the best that we could have gotten. That's the last of the supply crates in this area. Menace one five, you're clear for evac. We got what we came for, so don't take any unnecessary chances out there. Target 
All right, Outrider is cleaning house. I like it. Two more to go. Ready to engage. Come get some. All right, next turn we're going to take a shot. Of course, now he vanishes. Come on, Edgar. Miss the target. I think we can explode this here. They just stand in the middle, that would be fine. Oh, yeah. Good, and this should be GG. Teamwork into 100% shot in the back. Good My ammo is gone. With the exception of the one shot that we took, everything else was okay. Probably we could have been a bit more aggressive with the crates. I get that one. Uh, so that's on me. However, for me the more important part was actually also to get experience and level both of them. Specifically at Galleon Poe and we got the promotion so shouldn't be too miffed about it. And as long as he doesn't have 30 days of recovery, yeah, 5. 5 is fine. Capability. 
Yeah, this is not so great for Elerium and a couple of Alois 30 supplies. Uh, yeah. Once he's back, we can intensify the bond. That's a guerrilla operations mission. I'm thinking about whether we want to have that. Um, I guess for now. I guess for now, let's take the Alloys and the Alarium because we are lacking it. Oh my god, we got some bonus fear. Let's take a look. The chosen are doing whatever it takes to slow us down. We need to watch out for their sabotage attempts. Alright, Zirkim now has two uh, fears. So does Roby. Edgar Alien Poe. Almost everyone from our main team. It sounds like has a fear to get the civilians attention in the colonies it's important that the crew knows people out there need us and want us to help turn this thing around they have to know there's a reason to endure all this yeah okay so we will get their negative traits removed eventually There's uh, some alloys and some alarium. Maximum power consumption reached. I think. Maximum power consumption reached. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Building relays will increase the power. Oh, yeah. There wasn't a specific Elerium generator yet. We could upgrade it a bit later, but we definitely need the power. Okay, let's continue excavating. And we need to keep our supplies because we want weapon upgrades. Speaking about which, if you look or if we look at the weapon upgrades, we're missing the Elerium for our rifles so far, which would be nice. Uh, we do have a pistol already. This here is the Templar pistol, which I think we're still going to do. Might sound silly, but we're using it quite a bit. Yeah, and we need this uh, this upgrade. So once we're done with our research, which is going to be quite soon, we need to uh, research the other plasma weapons. The results of our breakthrough were quite fascinating. Good. Snipers get an additional slot. Now, powered armor is good, but we don't need it yet. I think what what would make sense is Um, oh, I would, I would want to have the plasma lance, but it requires uh, an archon autopsy, which again takes nine days, and I don't want to take that. So instead, let's uh, start with the beam gun, and then with the storm gun. No, wait, let's start with the Storm Gun, because I think with the Storm Gun we also get the Sword Upgrade and the Templar Upgrade. I will make that and uh, the Templar Fist is actually one of the weapons that I would want to have ASAP. I'm not sure, either it's with the Storm Gun, uh, uh, with a Shard Gun, or we get it with the, uh, with the 
armor. That might be a, a point as well. Mm, powered armor might be... Might be an option. Kagan rounds is great. Love it. Do we have anything else that we really need? A second spider suit would probably be good. Hmm. The frost bomb is okay, but we don't really need it. I don't want to start building sparks. Advanced explosives will just create better grenades other than the plasma grenade. And it costs a lot of um, a lot of alloys and crystals, so we're not going to do that right now. Battlefield medicine is something that I'm considering. Only costs supplies, so yeah, we're going to start this just to make the um, the med kits better. Nice. That's a bonus mission for us, which means uh, I think our we, we put our Templar onto this mission. So we're going to see another nice uh, ambush mission, which is um, nice and easy, and we're going to get some extra XP. So stay tuned. Uh, we're going to see each other in the next mission. If you liked it, leave a comment down below, and don't forget to uh, like the video. Thank you so much. Have a great day, and see you very soon. Bye-bye.